the 11 best work from home jobs that you can actually do at night. That's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. I'm gonna be going over 11 of the best work from home jobs. I'm gonna be telling you what the jobs are, what they're like on a day-to-day -day basis, what skills you need for them, the pros and cons. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it. So number one on the list is going to be a virtual F&I specialist. And F&I stands for finance and insurance. And basically you're gonna be managing all online insurance transactions for automotive dealerships, which helps customers finalize their vehicle purchases. Now there are lower level entry level roles, but in this position you can make an astonishing 120 to $218,000 a year. Now, like I said before, there are entry level roles that pay less, but overall it pays incredibly well and there's a lot of room for growth. Now, some of the skills you're gonna need for this are a strong understanding of automotive finance, insurance products, and persuasive communication. Now, some of the pros of this one are it's a very lucrative job. Some of the cons are it can be very stressful. But overall, I really like this one. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. You don't need a college degree to get into it. However, you will need previous experience working in the automotive industry. Next is going to be a background investigator. And by the way, I'm actually mentioning this one because of a comment that someone left on a video. So leave your comments down below and tell me which job you like the most or which job I should have included in this video. And in this position, you basically conduct thorough online research and investigation to compile a detailed background report. And you can almost think of yourself as a digital archeologist, sifting through layers of information to unearth the truth hidden in the cyber soil. And background investigators make 63 to $102,000 a year. Some of the skills you're gonna need for this are strong research capabilities, critical thinking, and proficiency in using internet search engines and databases. A pro of this one is that it is varied and intellectually stimulating work. You're never gonna have the same day twice. Some of the cons are it can be stressful and you are dealing with sensitive information. But overall, I really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, you could choose any one of these careers and then start a YouTube channel where you talk about the career. And this is something I've taught a bunch of other people how to do, including my friend Josh. Josh made it from less than $1,000 a month all the way up to 180 86K per month. And I actually coach several people per month on how they can do the exact same thing. So if you think you're a good fit for the coaching, you can apply by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now, if not, I have a free workshop I'm gonna be doing this week at Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And you can click the link down in the description and the pinned comment below to check that out as well. Next is gonna be an overnight editor writer. And this is somebody who crafts and refines articles and content for media companies during the late shift, ensuring timely updates and journalistic integrity. And in this position, you'd make about 65 to $117,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you'd need for this are very strong writing and editing skill and a mastery of journalism or news. Some of the pros of this one is overnight shifts often provide quieter and more chill working situations, which for some people can enhance focus and productivity. A con of this one is the irregular hours can definitely disrupt your sleep patterns. But overall, I really like this one. Actually, one of my brothers did this for a living for a while. I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an inside sales account executive. And this is basically somebody who typically works in what's known as high ticket sales. And so you're gonna be handling accounts. And these accounts are either individuals or companies. And they you typically spend a lot of money on your company's product or service. So you give them a high touch sales cycle as well as the delivery of the product itself. Here's a really cool video of a person who made a video on the day in the life of an account executive. And in this position, you can make a ton of money, about 107 to $190,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you're gonna need for this is strong communication, persuasion skills, and an understanding of financial services. Now, this is a bit of an upper level position, but a much easier position to get into would be business development representative or sales development representative, also known as BDO or SDR. And the company Course Careers has a fantastic free training, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description in the pinned comment below that tells you exactly what the careers are, whether or not it's a good fit for you and your personality, and exactly how you can get into them. So definitely click the link in the description in the pinned comment below to access that free training. So some of the pros here are you develop strong communication and leadership skills. Some of the cons are the role often involves meeting high sales targets, which can be very stressful. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a telehealth assistant. And this is somebody who provides virtual support for patients. And this is where high tech meets high touch patient care. And telehealth assistants make about 36 to $51,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you're gonna need for this is proficiency in technology, strong communication skills, and a calm demeanor. Some of the pros here are it can be meaningful work, and it can lead to better jobs down the line, and it's a good way to get your foot in the door in the healthcare industry. 
Some of the cons are you may work weekend hours or evening hours because a lot of the time that's when people need help. But overall, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you can think of somebody in your head right now who needs a job, go ahead and share this video with them. Next is going to be an evening legal assistant. This is somebody who provides crucial administrative and secretarial support during the evening hours. And you'd basically be assisting lawyers during the evening. And legal assistants make about 51 to $77,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you're gonna need for this is basic computer literacy, exceptional communication, and a knack for multitasking. So some of the pros here are, this can be a really good way to get your foot in the door in the legal industry. And a con is working for a legal firm can be very stressful. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be an operation support associate. And this is somebody who basically provides crucial tech support, and you're going to help in managing communications and system operations. So it's kind of like an IT support person mixed with somebody who knows a little bit about operations. And in this position, you can make about 41 to $56,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you're going to need for this is proficiency in CRM systems, and that stands for customer relationship management systems, strong problem solving abilities, and the ability to work independently. Some of the pros here are it can be a very fulfilling job and operations is an incredibly important aspect of a business. So it can definitely lead to better jobs down the line. It's also relatively easy to get into. A con here is it can be stressful dealing with clients who are having technical issues and you are the one who has to figure everything out. There's no one there to help you. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is going to be an online rater for AI models. And this is somebody who essentially provides feedback for digital content, including text, images, video, and audio. And you basically label these, which helps improve an AI system's accuracy and relevance. And in this position, you can make 80 to $149,000 a year. However, there's a lot of entry-level jobs that don't pay as much, but they're much easier to get into. And here's how much they would pay. But with that being said, there is a ton of opportunity when it comes to data and AI related jobs. And because of the fact that it's so new, it's really easy to get into. Now, some of the skills you're gonna need here are analytical skills, familiarity with internet and software interfaces, and attention to detail. Some of the pros here are it's a really good job with a lot of opportunity down the line, and it's relatively easy to get into. Some of the cons here are work availability can be somewhat inconsistent because of the fact that it's such a new industry. They can't even decide on the name of the career itself yet, but yeah, really like this one. I'm going to give it an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Next is going to be an overnight technical support specialist. And this is somebody who troubleshoots software and network issues for clients, of course, overnight. Now there's a ton of IT and technical support jobs available out there, and it's much easier to land one if you're willing to work at night. And in this position, you can make 54 to $89,000 a year. So yeah, I think everybody knows what IT and tech support is all about. Very, very easy to get into. You definitely do not need a college degree or previous experience. And that's the pro of this one is it's super easy to get into. A con of this one is again, there's nobody that you can call on. You have to figure it out on your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote market research interviewer. And this is basically somebody who conducts surveys over the phone. And you might be using something like Caddy software. And you're gonna be collecting crucial data that influences multi-million dollar businesses and organizations. And the global market research industry is worth over $118 billion. And market research interviewers make about 39 to $63,000 a year. So some of the skills you're gonna need here are strong communication skills, basic technical proficiency, and a keen attention to detail. A pro here is it's a remote job and it's not super high pressure. So you can basically do whatever you want while you're talking to people on the phone. A con here is a lot of people get really angry when you ask them to take a survey. But overall, this one's a really easy one to get into. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be a Medicare insurance agent. Now in the US, we have this thing called Medicare that you get when you get older. And in some cases you might even get it when you're younger. And it is actually incredibly complicated and getting signed up with the right Medicare can save you thousands and thousands, maybe even tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars over your lifetime. So it's very important that you help people pick the right Medicare. And because of the fact that the healthcare industry is a business in the United States, and it's a really, really poorly run business at that, there is a ton of money in these types of jobs. So for instance, you can make about 85 to $154,000 a year doing this. So some of the skills you would want here is basic knowledge and medical related stuff, ethical salesmanship, and empathy. Now it's relatively easy to get a job in this, and a lot of the times the companies will actually train you how to do it. And this is definitely more of a laid back, chill type of sales job. You're not trying to hammer in the sales. 
deal, right? You're more just trying to match the person with the right plan. So a pro here is you can help people choose the right plan. A con here is it does require some training to get certified, and there is a lot of pressure to meet quotas. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. By the way, I made a video a few months ago about the 10 no interview remote jobs that are almost always hiring, and you can check that out by clicking right here.